Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have something really interesting to share with you guys. I built two small form factor PCs. Now, I've been sitting on this footage for quite some time, but unfortunately, the launch of the 6000 AMD GPUs and the RTX 3000 line Gamers just have not been able to get a hold of any type of hardware. So because there was no hardware out there to be bought, gamers just did not have an interest in seeing any of these builds on YouTube. Now fortunately, looks like this situation is getting a lot better. In fact, right now if you check at retail, you can find yourself a suitable GPU. So today I just want to give you guys a little bit of insight on my experience with the SSUPD Meshalicious. Now like I said, this is a mini ITX small form factor case and it just blew me away. Now I went from ridiculing people that built in these to absolutely adoring them. In fact, I believe this really is the future of PCs. Now today I'm gonna show you two different builds. We're building in a white version as well as a black version. Now the difference also is one of them has all mesh sides and the other has all mesh sides except for one which is glass. Now we're using a 6800 XT in the black mesh alicious and in the white one we're going with an RTX 3080 white Strix. Now these are pretty good components. They run excellent on the desktop. They give you 4K over 60 FPS performance. But today let's see how they perform in a small form factor PC. Now I'm just gonna let the footage run of me putting these systems together. I'm gonna come back and give you my experience in building in the mesh alicious.
Now, as you can see, these builds look absolutely amazing. Now, the size that they are, especially compared to a traditional desktop, even a console, it really is an amazing feat to have all of this power in such a small design. Now, I have to say it was pretty easy building in these PCs. Now, the only really different type of components that you need is the motherboard. Now you're gonna have to get a small form factor motherboard as well as an SFX PSU. Now these PSUs are a little bit smaller than a traditional one. Now with the Meshalicious, fortunately, we can actually put a full size ATX PSU inside of it, but I went for the smaller option. I just felt it was just a little bit easier to wire. Now that's another issue that I had with this build. Everything was easy except for the wiring. Now, unfortunately, there's not many small form factor PSUs that offer soft cables. Now the ones that I used in both of these builds have hard cables so it made the routing a little bit more sloppy. It just wasn't as tight as I would like it to be. Now in the future I'm probably going to redo the wiring on these builds. I'm probably going to get some soft cable mods. Now I know some of you out there say well you could use extensions. Yeah you don't really want to use extensions in a small form factor PC. You're already kind of constrained on the space and those extensions add a lot more routing and it just doesn't look as good. So in my opinion, the only thing that I would say when building a small form factor PC, if you have it like open like how the Meshalicious is, is to make sure that you have some soft cabling. Now the performance on these PCs was incredible. Now I'm going to let a couple of the benchmarks run in the background. I'm going to come back and wrap it up with my final thoughts on performance and if I think you should get yourself a small form factor PC. Now, as you can see, that is crazy performance. Those temperatures are extremely low for an RTX 3080 and a 6800 XT. I love that it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now, when you compare it to the consoles to the Xbox Series X, 
you can see that this is not that much bigger than that console, but it's delivering performance that is way over the Xbox Series X. Now this is a tier A PC. We have an RTX 3080 in one, a AMD 6800 XT in another. They offer 4K over 60 FPS at ultra settings. I don't know what more you could want for, especially in a small form factor PC. Now there's a couple of misconceptions. People feel that it's hard to replace parts when you have a small form factor PC. It's just like a regular PC. If you need to replace your CPU, you just pop it out, pop in a new CPU. You gotta replace your GPU, the same thing. You gotta replace your RAM, Everything is exactly the same as a regular size desktop. Now, some of the prices might be a little bit higher for some of the components. Some of the small form factor uh, motherboards, they do cost a little bit more. Some of the PSUs, they do cost a little bit more. But like I said, with the Meshalicious, you can put an ATX. You're just gonna have to be patient with the wiring. And of course, having a full size ATX PSU gives you a lot more options. Now. Overall, I really do believe that this is the future of PC building. Yeah, we're gonna of course have our traditional desktops. I just feel that in time, they're slowly gonna decrease in size. We're really seeing the biggest boom I've ever seen for small form factor PCs. And the Meshalicious, in my opinion, is the best small form factor PC that you can build at this moment. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Like I said, I think this is a fantastic option, especially if you don't want a big desktop taking up a lot of space if you like the small compact size but have the performance that you get on a desktop and like I said the performance is even better because you have much better temperatures because only air is coming through that system anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one